Hey, welcome back, folks. Jay Barino here, continuing my playthrough of Annihilation. This is still Mission 11. As you can see, we're running into our hour mark in-game, but we played for about an hour last time, including cinematics. This mission is incredible, incredibly huge, but incredibly fun. It is an RPG. We're playing Vorden. We're leveling them up. We're over halfway to our max level. We're two-thirds to our max level, actually. It's a max level of 15. Still got Asphyxiate, Asphyxiate, Siphon, and then we just got this Energy Disruption Blast, which does a little bit of damage, but also slows attack speed of enemies. So we just retaken our capital city here, though I noticed that there's no there's no save beacon or whatever they're called. These these well there's no archive and there's no uh beacon to save at either. Either way, let's continue. I did backtrack real quick and then just reloaded my save uh, to check to make sure none of these old places had uh quests to give in as like an Easter egg. I also double checked to see if there were any uh lore artifacts or things like that. Alrighty, but let's continue. This map is incredible. Forty minerals, forty Vespine. Look at our proud city, Vorden. It is glorious, and it is all thanks to your aid. From here, we can plan our moves carefully. There is still work to be done. The remaining two warp spires will need to be reactivated again. The first one is located in the northern reaches of the region. Probably up here, then. I want you to travel north and rendezvous with Melzar. He has requested our assistance in the retaking of the spire. Help him clear the infestation enveloping the northern reaches of Eusaurus. Okay, cool. So that probably kicked Direct off a new trigger, so we want to look around to see if there's uh, any launch. side quests to take now. New challenges await. Meet up with Melzar. Our people need us. Okay, um, I had expected there to be some side quests. These Our are closed. These were open before. Oh no, no, they're open. Never mind. Let's check this out. Aldrathor. Our cause is just. Master Vorden, I have a favor to ask of you. Straight west of Executor Shield, you will find Rashigal's fate. The outpost there has seen an increased resistance from the native nest guardians. Native nest guardians, alright. I recently attempted to clear the area myself, but was hurt badly. I am to wait here in Executor Shield for my recovery. If you head there, speak with Arathas. He will be informing you with further details. Okay, well, here we go. We're going to get real sidetracked over and over and over again. Let's go around and see if we can collect as many side quests as possible in these areas. None of these guys back here had one, it looked like. It Nothing here. Nothing here. Nobody named here, rather. I saw one down here, too. Well, those rocks are probably broken for us to proceed with our main quest. So let's, uh... Again, let's swing through here and just check to see. The only the only thing I would say about these sections is maybe have this all be revealed so that you can see who has quests in this main city so I don't have to be walking around in all these different locations. So I think to get over there, it said west. We're probably going to have to go out this way. Let's do the side quests first. Aha! Here we go. Here's our here's our shrine of wisdom. Let's bind to our shrine here, and uh, what can we get? I have to say, uh, shockwave unleashes a shockwave on Vorden when he attacks, dealing 15 damage plus five per level, and we're level 10, so he's going to do 50, 65 damage around him to pretty much instantly kill Zerglings. I want to save my gas and get that next. So let's just ha let's just hold out and get that next for sure. And we're going to head over to the west and see if we can get to Rashikal's fate. I really like how the lore does fit into existing StarCraft lore. Um, and if you read the lore piece, the lore snippet, you would have seen how it, it does fit into how this is a, a real faction of Protoss. We can't get through there yet. We are still level 10. Let's see if maybe we can complete this mission and then get Shockwave, which should be really, really helpful. And we have crashed ships. And, uh, well, you know what? Let's just go up and talk to whoever we're... Oh, let's go talk with, uh, Arathus first. There he is. Master Vorden, I had not expected to see you here. What brings you to Rashigal's fate, Master? Aldrathor at our capital informed me of the situation here. I have come to resolve the issue. Is that so? Well, your timing is perfect. The Nest Guardians, just south of Rashigal's fate, is quickly increasing in number. Unfortunately, Aldrathor did not succeed in clearing the area of Nest Guardians, but hopefully you will be able to. Head down there and deliver them to the Void, and bring me the Stingers as proof of our might. Okay. Oh, I have to accept it. Whoops. I'm glad that it makes you accept your decline before it lets you move, because there's many times I'd probably miss that. Okay, and again, I'm just going to check all around. There might be little lore, lore tidbits to get down in here. All right, that's nothing. But 
if you remember, what was that mission? There was a mission uh, a while ago where you had to, like, rescue Rick's guys that were, like, very well hidden. I only found, like, two of them, or one of them, really. I think I only found one of them. So, uh, I know Dudekey really likes to hide stuff. Um, so I want to be checking in all these little crevasses, if you will. Crevices. Crevasses. Okay, so, uh, this is where we came from, so we're gonna head straight down. Here we go. Here's the Nest Guardians, recommended 9 to 10. We are level 10. So let's... Oh, okay, that seems great. And they attack very, very slow, too. Alrighty. It's just, uh, energy. So we might want to focus on, maybe... Is there an energy capacity? I don't recall there being an energy capacity. Either way, we're fine. This guy's not doing so much damage that I'm super worried. Okay, so we're collecting the stingers, which I think just means kill them. I think we're getting the stingers just by killing them. Indeed. So I think just collecting the stingers is just like a semi-callback to, like, some old... Some old uh, type games where you have to like loot things and pick up like four heads or something silly like that. Alright, one more right here. Asphyxiate him. Great. And then there's rocks there that we can't get through. So let's even get out of here before this stuff respawns because I'm kind of low and I have no mana. Or energy, rather. Of course, I'm going to say mana in this case. So we have enough. Uh, oh, we don't have enough gas. I assume we're going to get enough gas now, though. Probably get enough gas now to get Shockwave. Yep. 26 Minerals, 20 Vespine. Thank you, Master. These should be sufficient. Now I ask one final thing of you, Master. Another th what are you? What are you doing, dude? Go west past the Frozen Nest, and you'll find what is known as the Overgrown Camp. This area used to be another outpost of ours, but we were required to leave it unattended when the Zerg attacked Eusaurus. Shortly after, the creatures of the forest made the area their home, and the camp now stands as prime territory of the Eusauran Grothalisks. A small expedition was sent there not not long ago to attempt to retake the camp, but they have not returned. I fear the worst. Of course, of course we'll do that. Can you head there and search for any trace of the expedition? I want to be certain of their demise. I have to say, I love all these tiny little camps, too, that you find. Just like sparse units, just to show how spread out the Eusauran, Eusaurus, what have you, Eduron are. It's very, very cool. Okay, so I'm going to assume it's these... Rocks? Actually, no. Maybe those... Are these rocks still here? These rocks are still here. That'd be a nice little cut through, but I don't want to go back. I'm going to get healed. I'm going to get Shockwave, which seems incredibly helpful. Looks like we got to sneak through here. So we do have to fight our way back through... Back through the uh, the things we just had to kill. Uh, Shockwave, please. Dizzying Shockwave. A stun of affected air... Wow, that's so good. Again, the whole point of this, and it was emphasized, is play how you want to play. So I tried to do a bit of a balance. I upgraded his armor, I upgraded his attack, and I upgraded his cooldowns, I think, once. Which is, you know, all around pretty good, and then I got Shockwave. Now, I think I want to focus maybe more on... It's hard to say, because if you focus just on offense, you're going to run into some trouble in the sense that maybe... It, it, it may be possible that you're going to get nuked down by, like, a boss or something. So maybe I do need to put a little more into... Into his abilities, and to his, uh, his defense. Alright, so there's the shockwave. That means we want to get close. Oh, yeah. Look how much faster they die. We're just gonna lift this one, get close. So you want to kind of stop, move close to them so that you can properly do that. Um, didn't we... We also, uh, upgraded his shield regen, so there's gonna be times we're gonna be waiting for shields, unfortunately. His energy comes back, meh, reasonably fast. Let's see if we can sneak through here and not get the other one pissed at us. Yeah, getting close for that shockwave is very helpful. I will kill this one. Might as well. I mean, we're low on energy, but it comes back very fast. There's the Grothalisks. 11 to 12. We are level 10. And we have to kill nine... Oh, locate fallen zealot bodies. This is probably open now? Oh, no, this isn't open. This is separate. This would link us all the way back to the beginning, so maybe... Direct my those, that, those will open up and connect the whole map eventually where we have to backtrack. I'm just sitting here right now, of course. I'm gonna, I'm gonna quick save. Our soul is bound, so we should be fine. Shockwave doing a real good job against those because they get close to us. This is open now. So that means we could run back to, uh... We could run back to our original spot. And, uh, and get healed up if we need to. That's actually pretty nice. And just just to check... Okay, no, he, he doesn't have anything for us. But there's the dead zealot bodies. I saw one back there. 
I don't know if they're all throughout this forest, or they're probably further south. Yeah, they're probably further south. Um, killing those growth elixirs may be challenging. Seems like um, that disruption blast is very, very, very helpful. All right, there's a zealot body. Are we, like, picking up their bodies? It's a little strange. Um, let's just see what happens if we just kill this one like normal. They're fast. We're kind of fast, too. We can kill them with them only hitting us once. So even though they're 11 to 12, we should be fine. Who said you have to follow the... You have to follow the, the suggested levels. All right, so we want to be picking these guys up relatively quick so that we don't face too many respawns. We do want to get close because of Shockwave. Wow, that Shockwave does a lot of damage. Which is great because that means that, you know, we won't get overwhelmed per se. Let's go ahead and nuke it. Okay, let's just get in on these. Cool. And I'm looking for zealot bodies. I hope I haven't missed one. What's this down here? Looks like just a doodad. Oh! Ancient beasts! Watch out for the ancient beasts! Oh, that's a, that is a large ancient beast. Nuke it down. Asphyxiate. Let's see if we can kill this. Well, let's check what this is. Highly dangerous beast. Ancient beasts are... Very tough creatures that when killed offer a high amount of resources and experience. Ancient beasts have a respawn timer of 10 minutes. Basically saying, you can't farm them. Alright, cool. We got him. Uh, that was a lot of money, wasn't it? Uh, let's hit this with uh, energy disruption blast. I'm gonna forget what that's called frequently. Okay, and let's see if we can get out of here. Oh, no, no, we can't. Let's just uh, asphyxiate. Alright, we're kind of in trouble here. We're gonna have trouble with respawns at this point. We're f only four of nine, so we gotta keep looking around. The bodies don't respawn, do they? There's one right there. I, I think I gotta wait for energy at this point. Well, we can just kill these like normal. As long as we have some... As long as we have some shields, we're fine. Okay, there's another body. These are starting to respawn. If we can kill them, we can kill them fast enough such that the respawns don't clump up too much, then we'll be fine. Like this. I really like that shockwave. That's real good. I think the stun would be real good. Okay, there's a body. Did I miss this from earlier? I must have. Yeah, the, the bodies seem to respawn. Again, this is just like a an MMORPG, or just an RPG, rather. Alright, six of nine, seven of nine. Or maybe I just missed these from the get-go. It's very possible I just straight up missed these. I'm glad that these growth lists aren't ranged, because we'd have a lot more trouble with them. We're getting a lot we're getting a lot of uh, XP for these. Yeah, the, yeah, these definitely respawn. The bodies definitely respawn. So again, the question is, you know, are you the type of player that would run around this map and just farm and farm and farm and farm and farm and farm and farm to get to level 15 and get a ton of money? I am not that kind of player. I like to kind of just go and, uh, you know, I will do every single quest, though, and assume that if you do every single quest, that is enough to get you what you, to get you everything that you are looking for. Okay, killing these things are annoying. There we go. I don't think these give us nearly as much, uh, nearly as much XP. Okay. Blast those. Uh, I would keep wondering what that sound is, like the ch, -ch sound. It's it's when resource pallets get picked up when you don't walk over them. You see, I saw that Vespin get picked up and it made the noise. Okay. So head up here. We're going to turn this into Arathus. 32 minerals, 36 Vespin. It's just as I thought. Unfortunately, they cannot be saved. Thank you. So we picked up nine of them and they're all just dead. We can't, we can't do anything. All right, well, it was nice of us to come over here, I suppose. Um, these are blocked. It's nice that this is all connected now. We're, I'm assuming we're going to have to come back here at some point because these rocks will be open. It's almost guaranteed. Like, it's just a shortcut. We did get a level up, so we don't have to backtrack. So what we want to do is just right-click on new, challenge and a, new Challenges Await and see where this takes us. So there's no turn-in for that. Um, I could go back through the city. In fact, I think I have to go back through the city so I can see if anybody's got another thing for us. In fact, let's upgrade something. Maybe energy regen is something we want to look for. Let's check this out. Oh, I didn't really check when I started recording. It's been about, I assume, 15 minutes. I assume 15 minutes. Okay. So... Oh, Dizzying Shockwave. I'm close to, though. Oh, it's so good. Shield regen. No. Let's see. He doesn't... His auto attack is fine. Getting these upgrades... The two-minute cooldowns I'm not a huge fan of, I'll be honest. Not a huge fan of the... Of the of the long cooldown stuff. Oh, why didn't I... 
Well, I don't need experience gain. I don't need that at all, actually. I'm, al I'm already close to level 15. I'm level 11 already. Or I'm level 12 already, so I'm not going to bother with ancient knowledge. Um, that would have been beneficial to get early on. Um, let's see. Regeneration is probably something we need. <sighs> dizzying shockwave. I'm gonna get dizzying shockwave, and then I'll and then I'll upgrade his uh, his shield recharge. Okay. Let's get going. Let's get going. And we need what? 14 more gas. And we'll swing. You know what? Just to see if this guy's got anything for me. It seems like basically more side quests open up once you complete a main quest objective. So once we turned into uh, Noros down here, that's what opened up the new side, the side quest. So uh, there shouldn't be anything over here. This is open now, so we can swing up to the northern side. And I assume there's going to be all sorts of stuff to get up there. Guardian Arak, what you got for me, buddy? Master, I admire your bravery at the battle for Executor Shield. Unfortunately, the Zerg are not relenting, and according to our readings, a swarm of them is approaching from the cave up ahead. The only way we can restrict them access to Executor's shield is by forming a barricade to block the cave. The Wild Growth Cavern and the area surrounding it is the perfect place to find materials to our barricade. I want you to head in there and collect as much as you can find. Do you accept? Oh, I accept! Arak. Okay. So we're gonna barricade the Zerg. Let's just fucking murder the Zerg. You think I'm scared of some Zerg? No. Asphyxiate him. I don't give a shit. Look, we got a cannon here, too. This is probably the cave. Okay, well, let's just do the side missions first. This one's gonna be over here. Quill, uh, Quill Gores, right? Oh, spine backs. Oh my god, that is so good. The shockwave is so good. Let's nuke this one, because it's large. And, uh, I see now what we're picking up. That's, it's nice that they shine a little bit. I don't regret the shockwave at all. Because it scales with your level, that's huge. That is huge. Okay, so let's pick this up. Yeah, I think shield regen is going to be the next big thing once we get our shockwave upgrade. That makes me wonder what the shockwave upgrade is going to be with... It's going to be next. Okay. So, originally I said, you know what, oh, maybe we'll have enough money by the end of this to be able to, uh... We'll have enough money by the end of this to, uh, to get all the upgrades. Which I don't think is the case, and I like that a lot. Because what that means is, um, you know, you, it, and it's just how it says on the loading screen. Play how you want to play. Very, very, very cool. So we need, oh, we need 16. Collect rocks. Well, there's nothing here. I assume we need to go deeper into the cave. Yeah, we probably just need to go into the cave. Shield regen right now would be a little more helpful. Okay, well, these uh, large cavern roaches do a, uh, they're very pretty quick. They do a lot of damage, and they have a lot of health. But as they get close to us, they get smoked by uh, Shockwave. I don't even I don't even try to kite them anymore because Shockwave is doing most of my damage, which is another reason why I'm not going to upgrade his auto attack. I can rely on Shockwave, assuming I upgrade Shockwave. And see, here I am. I'm talking about you know relying on Shockwave, using Shockwave primarily. It's just about this whole play how you want to play. You could just straight up upgrade his attack speed. But you could upgrade his uh, his regen rate. You could upgrade his uh, his just straight up attack. That's the kind of you know you could. That's the way you might want to play. Uh, that is an ancient beast. What I would love to do is kill, kill the other stuff. We can kite this guy, though, can't we? Okay, kill this roach that's following me. Nuke him and attack him. The question is, is he going to reset completely? I hope he doesn't reset his health. Doesn't seem like it. All right, so let's just let's just nuke him so he does the attack slower, and there we go. That gave us a lot of minerals. We can upgrade Shockwave now, but I'm kind of committed at this point. There's some rocks back here. I share your Oh my word, this is one of the coolest missions I've ever played. At this point, I would say this is, this is, uh, I really, I hate to be so quick, I don't, I don't want to like, I'm not putting down any other campaigns, but, not putting down any other maps, but this is possibly my favorite map that I've ever played, just on a, just on a whim, you know, just kind of saying like, ah, fun map, this is, I gotta say, this is probably one of the, the best maps that I've ever played. Um, and I shouldn't say it, it's objectively the best, I'm just saying, you know, I personally find this to be one of the funnest maps that I personally have played, so... You know, you can watch me play this, but at the same time, I would recommend you should go and download this. In fact, you should go and download a lot of things that I've played, but, um... Uh, very, very cool. That ancient beast from across the map may have respawned by now. I could probably go and kill him again and get, uh, get some more money. Because at this point, you know, we're definitely going to make it to level 15. It's just, um, it's getting, uh, money to get more upgrades. Because you could farm up a shit ton, just a shit ton, an absolute shit ton of money. And be able to, uh, 
upgrade for it and just like to max, which I don't know. I'm not I'm not that kind of grindy grindy player, so I'm not gonna do that. Alright, so we're only ten of sixteen. This is the only area to go, right? Yes. I haven't found another one of those lore artifacts. Maybe there's only two or three on this whole map. Let's go back through here and kill some more of those uh, spine backs or whatever. Yeah, there's some rocks out here. Lift them up. Get them, Shockwave. Oh my god, it's so good. That one attacked me real slow. He might only be able to attack me once or twice before I kill him. Indeed. 10 of 16, 11 of 16, 12 of 16 coming up. I will oblige. And then yeah, we're we're doing real good. And we've got a lot of money now, so we're gonna we're gonna be ready to upgrade pretty heftily. Definitely shockwave and then hopefully our shield regeneration. Those are the next two things. Thirteen of sixteen. I mean yeah, sure, let's just kill this. Let's just kill him. There we go. Might as well. I mean, the way that these the respawn rate is, and I wonder, you know, Dukey, I'm assuming you're watching this, is, you know, maybe you can answer how you plan this out. And did you plan the respawn rate such that you knew the player, maybe this is more in-depth than you needed to go, but I'm assuming maybe you thought about, like, how the respawn rates affect how many enemies the player has to kill based on the respawn rates. We only need one more, and it's right there. So you knew that the player would be getting money at a certain rate, most likely. Okay, so we got the the barricade, so I'm assuming we're gonna have to lay the barricade. We're gonna have to lay the barricade, and then maybe kill some Zerg on the way. Alternatively, I could go and do this, but this guy might give me another another quest, so let's go and talk to him. Uh, it's really tempting to go down and get the shot, the improved shockwave. I might just do that. That way I can get healed up, too. 26 minerals, 22 Vespi, not bad. Excellent. This is sufficient for our barricade. I thank you for the help, Master. No problem, buddy. Oh, okay, that was that was actually it. I am gonna come down here. I'm gonna get improved shockwave. What time is it? Let's let's double check. It's 3:43. I checked my clock at 3:35, which was 15 minutes after I thought I started recording. So theoretically, we've only been recording for about 25 minutes, which is great. You know, the first mission there were a lot of cinematics, things like that, so that took up time. There's probably gonna be one at the end as well. Improved shockwave or dizzying shockwave. Okay, so next we want, let's see, Regeneration Master. And then these two down here, maybe you can upgrade them so that they have shorter cooldowns. I mean, actually, you can get the uh, ability control for shorter cooldowns. So we can worry about that later. You know what, just to double check, there's nothing for increased, no, there's nothing for increased um, energy regen, right? Improves, okay. Further reduced regeneration by 25% allows health to regenerate slowly while out of combat. We might want to grab that next. Okay, so let's swing up here and get the next, uh, the next story-related mission. Oh my god, this map. This is... I can't imagine how long this map took. I was, you know, I was following the forums through Annihilation's production. I know that this one did take quite a bit longer than the others, but... The amount... Think of how long we've been playing. The amount of effort put onto this map is just... Incredible, just incredible. All righty, let's uh, let's head on up here. And you know, just out of curiosity, were there rocks up here that we could like cut through? It doesn't look like it. There was a cut through down in the forest, but I'm really not sure why. I'm really not sure why. Doesn't really matter. Okay, maybe it will become clear later on. Northern reaches. So we've only done one of the three main objectives. Interestingly enough. Okay, and. Uh, Meet up with Maze Melzar. There's Melzar. Is there anything else to do around here? No. Okay, so let's talk to him. We do have a, a shrine here that we can get in sync with. Ah, finally, I'm glad my message to Executor Noros came across with such short notice. Borodin, with our capital reclaimed, the last piece of resistance from the Zerg occurs right here in the Northern Reaches. My forces and I are planning to finally rid ourselves of the remaining attackers, but your guidance will be essential. Let us waste no time. The Warp Spire must be reactivated. Alright, Melzar. No problem. Retake the northern base. Oh wait, we want to bind to the shrine. There we go. Oh, the shrine's right here. Probably just have to hold out against Zerg. The infestation affecting this Warp Spire must be cleansed. Stay strong, warriors. Breaching the Zerg defenses will not be an easy task. Okay, he's right up there. And we pretty much uncovered this whole map. We'll check all around this later. There's probably something up there. Okay, attack. Uh, can we slow... We can't slow down buildings. We can't do anything to buildings either, so we just have to go. Let's move on in. Get this shockwave in there. My poor, poor, poor friends. 
are just dying over there. Is this another instance where they are just invulnerable? Because it seems like they're invulnerable. Hit the... Okay, well. Again, they're they're invulnerable. Um, Again, I someone clarify if this is... I'm recording this all in one go. So if you've left a comment, if, if you know, maybe Dookie left a comment in the past um, explaining why maybe these are supposed to be invulnerable or if they're not supposed to be invulnerable, what have you, um, then I apologize. So at this point when I'm playing, I have no idea why. Um... But again, I want to point out, this map is not technically in release. I I, I kind of thought about only playing the stuff that's in release, but I ended Mission 10 without like a proper outro to the series and explaining that there wouldn't be more. So I figured, you know what, eh, let's play Mission 11. Everybody says Mission 11 is incredible, and it is, by the way. Uh, so let's just get going, even though it's still in beta. Um, I will still wait on Mission 12, though, to be in release, or Dookie's like, yeah, play it. It is done. Our objective is completed. Okay. The warp spire is reactivating once again. Let us return to base. Okay, I will in a moment. Let me just make sure there's not a like a lure shrine or something around here, whatever it's called. Oh, I love the terraining on this map too. Really, 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 really nice. Let's check up here. This looks like a little little hidden area. Aha! Lore relic. What do you got for him? Oh, this is number three. We missed one! I will look for that. Don't you worry. All right, so you go ahead and I, I'm not going to read these aloud. So you can, you're free to go back and read them as you as you wish. Maybe the little relic I missed was in the city. It's possible it's in the city, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this. Pause that and read it if you will. I plan on reading it after. Retaking the north, north return to Mazar. Did he go back? Is he back here? Yeah, he is. Okay. And I'll I'll look I'll look back. You know where we came from for the, the little relic. You have done well, Vorden, only to be expected from, from a psionic master himself. The Zerg threat has been neutralized, and our northern warp spire is now well protected. I want you to return to Executor Noros at the Executor's shield. Let him know we were successful. Okay. Cool, and there's nothing else to do up here. This is awesome. This is just awesome. I don't know how many times I can say it. This is one of the, the this is some of the most fun I've ever I've ever had on some of these maps. So we got to be looking in all these cracks and crevices, if you will, for where there may be. Oh, there's the barricade that he put up. Good job, buddy. For where there may be a lore relic. So up here we came into the forest. I really doubt there was anywhere up here. No, 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 nope. No. Okay, so maybe it's it's somewhere in the city or possibly... Did I check down? I could... I was able to get back there, wasn't I? Yeah. So... Hopefully we can find it. If we can't, I apologize. What do we got here? Total destruction! What? Can I help you, warrior? Destruction nears. The beasts, they must be eradicated. Like how angry this Archon is. Go now, show them your supremacy. Eradicate the beasts! I mean, yeah, sure, let's do it. Slay creatures of at least level 10. I think we can handle that. Okay. So this is just kind of like our incremental... Ah, I love this. It's just like our incremental little uh, quest. Where it's like to make sure you're killing enough to get enough XP and so on and so forth. We're already level 14, though. I don't think we're going to have a problem with that. Um... That's that. Um, where is that lore relic? Where could it be? Where could it be? Where have we... Oh, there it is. I guarantee it's in here. Uh, okay. I say I guarantee. Now, just because I said that, I feel like I'm going to be wrong. Just because I had to say I guarantee. But this makes... It seems like it would be in here, right? Oh, yes. There it is. Lore relic. Lore relic number two. Feel free to read about... The Iduron. This is so cool. I love that this much lore has gone into. This map just has it all. It has it all. This map alone could be just a huge... Like, you could submit this for Rock the Cabinet. This would be this would be huge, I think. All right, granted, nobody knows the backstory for this campaign or anything like that. Would this even fit on the, on the upload? Yeah, probably. I mean, it's a big map. All right, so let's head back. I'm going to make sure we check for any other... Uh, side quests as well. As you can see, we're well ahead of where we're supposed to be. I think it, the game expects us to be around level 10 at this point. We're almost maxed out. Okay. You were successful? Fantastic. I would have expected nothing less from you, Master. 
Now there's one final there's one final step to be completed before we can reactivate the warp network. The final warp spire is located in the southern reaches of the Usuran Wildlands. There you will find Camp Aduna Thor. A small Ediron force has spent the last few days attempting to regain control of the area surrounding the warp spire. Head down there and assist them, Vorden. They may need it. Not if they're invulnerable! Haha! <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't make light of that tiny small thing. Um Again, because this is still quote unquote beta, that can be found and fixed. Very simple. I'm just being kind of a clown. So uh, we'll come down over here, see if maybe there's another optional quest to pick up. We can swing up here to see if there's another optional quest to pick up. This is the only issue here is I have no idea who else may have quests to pick up at this point because we don't have much vision around here, and the only way you can know is if you look and look and look and look and look. But we found all three lore facts. Uh, I don't plan on upgrading him to the absolute max because that would be very, very time consuming. But um, I kind of like this idea of focusing more on what we want to use as opposed to getting literally everything. So we still can't get Regeneration Master. Uh, we can't really afford anything right now. So let's just get going. We need gas. We have a lot of minerals. And there's, it doesn't seem like there's a way to, uh, to switch around what you... Uh, like if you can trade in minerals for gas or something like that. But either way, uh, I think we're pretty decked out now, especially with that uh, leveled up shockwave. The energy discharge. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's air, too. Wow. Okay, so um, I'm going to come up and around this way. These rocks, for some reason, have not broken. They, they must have to break for some reason. We've already done all these side quests. Let's swing up here to see if maybe there's a new one. There is not. Kasha calls fate. I like the names of all these little encampments. It's uh, really neat. Let's check over here. These are broken. So this will allow us to cut through somewhere. Or perhaps not. I don't know what's supposed to be back here, but perhaps we're going to check it out later. Let's see. Probably what I want to do is come back over to our main base and check to see if there's something we can do from the other end. I'm not sure. So we have to go through the frozen nest again. Okay, unfortunately there's no way around this. I think uh, energy disruption blast is very helpful against these. Let's get real close. Can we just keep... We could just keep them chain-stunned if we get on top of them. Wow, that seems... Is there only a chance to stun? Or is it a guaranteed stun? I'm not really sure. It seems like a... It seems doesn't seem like it's guaranteed. Alright, we have to get through here again. Yeah, it seems like you got to be real close. I kind of want to cut over and across so that I can get back to our main area to see if those rocks have opened up. So I'm going to do that. Alright, so this is all closed up. This was just a normal area, nothing to get. And uh, let's head up here. Let's just head up here and see. We have enough money to get um, Regeneration Mastery 2 or whatever it is, so... Let's check this out. Yeah, no no new quests. Let's get uh, Regeneration Master Level 2. Improves Voridin's Regeneration Capabilities to allow health and shields to regenerate faster and in combat. Seems real good. Not that expensive, either. Um, the next thing we want to get is probably his damage. Uh, or his abilities. It's hard to say. I'm not going to get efficient strangulation unless maybe we have the option to upgrade it further later. Maybe we'll have the option to upgrade it more later on. To, to redo the damage, like do the damage again, but you have to upgrade it twice. Oh! Oh, I see. Um, this was connected. I did not realize this was connected. This was probably uh, closed up in the past. So now we're all connected, and we have to swing... Let's see. All the way down here. All the way down here, buddy. Or is is it all the way down there? There were... Oh, it's, I bet it's these rocks, actually. Because um, down here is where we started, and there were no rocks. So let's continue in this direction. What time is it? All right, we're still okay. We're still doing good on time, I'd say. Oh, Uh-oh, look out. Level 2 Zerglings. I like how he has you backtrack through areas you've already been in so you can experience how powerful you are to easily kill the stuff that you took a little more time to do in the past. Aduna Thor. What's up, buddy? Anybody got a quest? Oh, we have to actually... Oh, we got to kill the creatures that are level uh, 10 or higher. I got to remember to do that. All right, nothing over here. I'd say we've uncovered pretty much the whole map up until this point. Kamos, what's up, Kamos? Vorden, what an amiable sight. That's a nice compliment. I am amiable. Executor Noros informed me that you are experiencing problems here. I have come to help. I am highly appreciative. The area surrounding the southern warp spire has been populated by a group of native creatures. 
Since their arrival, they've been very aggressive. The warp spire has received great damage, and the creatures have consumed fragments of it. I want you to help us by cleaning out by clearing out this new threat in the southern reaches. Regain the lost pieces and destroy those creatures. Rebuilding the spire, slay jungle ravagers. Okay. Uh, anybody else got anything for me? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. The only thing on the ice on the ice um, tile set is sometimes it's hard to see the holograms, like if it's green and maybe or yellow, it may be a little challenging to see. Not that big of a deal. Jungle Ravager, alright. Go ahead and slow their attack speed. Excellent. And we just want to move right on top of them. Where's the stun? Maybe it seems like you have to be literally on top of them for that. You required a warp spire fragment. Oh, that's the uh, that's the actual objective, and this is also going towards our 50. <laughs> so I think by doing these quests up here, like through in these areas from uh, that immortal up there, I forget who it was. What that's done is it's made it so that we're uh, unfortunately um, it's going to be a little harder to finish this uh, kill 50 things quest, which is eh, it's okay. Let's just walk on top of them. Again, this is definitely the way to do it. Getting warp fragments. We're very, very powerful with this uh, shockwave. Um, is that a, a fragment? No, it seems like we're just picking up fragments randomly. There's the warp spire. But we just have to kill all these things first. Okay, great. We are doing just fine. I don't even have to I don't have to do anything different. I just walk up to it. I don't have to use my abilities. Nothing. Getting kind of low here. We can regenerate health out of combat, though, which is very, very helpful. We can use Asphyxiate and then run up to them and then blast them. I am killing as much as possible just so I can get my kill 50 things achievement, or side quest, rather. Yeah, you got to be, like, right on top of them to use that, unfortunately. Um, we need another Warp Spire fragment. Uh, asphyxiate, walk on top of them. Slow that attack speed there. Okay, cool. And we still haven't got it. Okay, I'm kind of in trouble, but we did finish it, so let's just go ahead and turn this in. We may want to back up to a, uh, a shrine. 28 minerals, 36 Vespin. Cool. Admirable. You never cease to amaze us, Master Voradin. I love how everybody on this planet just loves us. Now, with the fragments gathered, we need to reactivate the Warp Spire. I have forces ready to guard the Warp Spire. Head into the Southern Reaches once again and activate the Spire, and they will come to you. Okay, uh, I'm going to save, because unfortunately there, yeah, there isn't a Spire near us. I kind of just need to wait for some of this regen. So, while we do that, let's go up here, actually. There may be a, uh, a fragment to get. Okay, asphyxiate. There may be a lore fragment over here or something. And while we're out of combat, we might as well just wait a little bit. We're low on energy. Eh, that's okay. I mean, our shields come back very, very fast, so as long as our shields don't go down, we'll be just fine. There we go. I might want to get that the shield regen in combat thing here. Looking good. I think this is just all connected, actually. Oh my god, that shockwave. You, just, you do have to be right on them, but it doesn't really matter that much. Might as well just kill as much of these as we can. We're already halfway to our 50 achievement. Okay, I'm going to save my energy for the actual attack. Though, if our allies are invulnerable again, we don't have much to worry about. Now, let's kill this one, too. Cool. All right, let's activate the Warp Spire. Not looking good on our shields, though, so... Eh. Greatly done, Master. We will defend this Warp Spire. Head back to High Templar Kamos. Oh, that's nice. So we, I thought we would have to defend it, but we're fine. I'm just going to keep killing this stuff. If I want to, I wa might want to backtrack to the main city just to uh, turn in that kill 50, because he might give me another one that's like kill 100 or something like that, you know? 34. Oh, we leveled up. We're level 15 now. Cool. So we are, we're all maxed out. Just lift that one. Get rid of it. Move on top of it. I'm quite liking this play style. I am very much the, the soldier warrior type class. I just sort of like just running in it with brute force. That's just that's just my style of play, so that's how I will continue to play this. So I just run run right up to him and be like, ah oh, yeah, fuck you. Um, no ancient beasts that we've seen so far. I expected maybe one to be in this section, but not there has not been one. Lift him. 
But in most in most games, granted, I, I, it sucks because like I think a lot of people. I think Mass Effect is a good example where like 90% of all all people play as a soldier. I like playing as a soldier. And I think a lot of people play a soldier because it's like the default. I don't play it because it's the default. It's actually just it fits my playstyle, and it's not necessarily run and gun. I actually kind of prefer like a low damage, just run in and do as much as possible. So I don't know. Okay, so let's just keep. I guess it is run and gun. I don't know. There's no point in me making an excuse. I might as well just get my 50 because we're here. Granted, I'm assuming we get it pretty easily otherwise, but I just want to make sure because we're going to be backtracking anyway towards the city. So let's just make sure we have this done. Only two more. We can just make one more circle through here. These respawn very, very fast. Make sure he's stunned. Yeah, you got to be literally right on top of him. It's meant for melee units. Like, you're surrounded by Zerglings. Oh, all the Zerglings are dead, you know? Uh, okay. How many more of these? There we go. Let's get out of here. We don't need we don't need XP anymore, so there's not much of a reason to kill these. We got a lot of money from doing this, though. And these kind of quests, where it's like kill 50 whatever, in most RPGs, and I assume on this map as well, are there just to ensure that the player is killing enough stuff so that they have resources to actually progress and keep up with the game in terms of difficulty, because, you know, if you speed run through, you might not have enough money to get better upgrades and so on. Okay, cool. I have no further task for you, Great One. While the southern reaches may still be populated by these creatures, your service has allowed us to take control. Do not worry about us. We will make sure to keep the jungle safe. You should return to Executor Neuros and inform him of the good news. Good news, everybody! Alright, cool. We will do that, and on our way back, we'll swing by... We'll just swing by this place. I'm just gonna A-click my way there and see what happens. I think we have to go through the frozen wastes, though, which is... Or the frozen nest. That's the only spot where we may have a little bit of trouble. I may want to be upgrading my attack here pretty soon. I don't know. I got I have decent money, but it's probably just enough to upgrade one or two things. Oh, these things. Well, see, this is an instance where uh, our shockwave or energy discharge is incredibly good. Not these, though. We just have to kill these like normal. Yeah, I think our I think it's about time we upgraded our attack, our normal attack. And I'm just using my my abilities like crazy now. Yeah, that's the, that's the only other thing is that there's nothing that that does um. Uh, which way do we want to go? We have to go down here. Uh, there's nothing that increases our energy regeneration, which would be really, really maybe overpowered actually. Um, so the asphyxiate damage now, I'm starting to rethink. We might just want to go with the the no damage asphyxiate, but you have to think what then it's like useless on bosses because the the stun doesn't work on bosses. So I don't know. Um, let's see. 160. We can afford that. Alternatively, let's get Regeneration Master. Uh, we can regenerate in combat. So that that really, I think that uh, coincides well with our playstyle, which is just... Well, let's go turn this into Onamarius, and uh, it, it, just because we're running in there, we need, we need better regen. So let's head on up here. We're looking pretty good on our stats. What's up, buddy? You killed the beasts! Excellent! <laughs> Large and dangerous beasts roam you source currently. Alright, there's more. I knew there'd be another one, so it's good we, we uh, turn this in. Defeat ancient defeat an ancient beast. Where is the closest ancient beast? Um I kinda wanna just go and do this right away. Where is the closest one? Down here most likely, I'm thinking. Um there was one up here? There were only two. So I'm thinking the closest one was, yeah, we cut through the, the frozen nest, we swing down here, and there's one down here. So let's do that. Now. And we might be close to a point where I'm going to stop again, because, I, like I said, we, this might be a three-parter. It might be a three-parter. I understand we haven't been going as long as the, you know, we played for an hour in the first one. Pretty, pretty wild, right? So lift that one. See, how could I get rid of the asphyxiate damage when it, you know, half kills one of these assholes? But the stun, I mean, it's hard to say, because in that case, I kind of just did the stun in that case, just just to stop it from attacking me. Oh, look at how fast we regen, even in combat. Damn, that's good. Okay, great. And there we go, and I'm just going to rely on my, my regen. You're stunned. Yeah, so melee, melee just does nothing to me at this point. 
because I stun it instantly. It might get one hit off on me, and then even if it hits me once, my regen is so good that it doesn't matter. So we've completely negated melee enemies. Granted, it seems like the most dangerous ones, like in the Frozen Nest, like those locusts, those are the, those are the most challenging ones to deal with. All right, Ancient Beast. Yep, he's there. Is he invisible or something? Is that... Is he invisible? What the hell? Ancient Beast. What is going on here? Um. Oh, God. No! Okay, he wasn't targetable. He wasn't targetable because he's invisible. Um, okay, slight bug. You know what? We're actually right up here. Let's go ahead and kill this one. Maybe this one will be visible. Uh, wasn't there one up here? I swear there was one up here. You know what? Let's check what this is. Nothing. I expected something to be down there. I guess not. That's a nice little doodad, though. Um, wasn't there one up here? Now I forget where they all were. This is where a, a lore shrine thing was. Um, oh, that's too bad. Hmm. Well, I don't... If I have to cut, I will. The only thing is, by the time I finish recording this, I have to remember to actually cut. At the same time, maybe this is just a good time to stop the recording. It's been about 45 minutes. I don't remember quite where. This looks like where one would have been. So let's go up here. Oh yeah, there was definitely... I'm pretty sure there's one up there. Maybe this one won't be invisible. So let's go and kill the ancient beast. Turn it in. Go and talk to Executor Noros. And then probably be done with this video. I'm glad that I had... I was able to see where this one was. This one should be back by now too. We've been recording for quite some time. That other one was invisible though. I don't know what to say about that. I may, uh, maybe I could do is quick save and then reload the save. I'm sad that I died once. It doesn't seem like we lost anything for dying. There we go. Okay, this one is here. So let's lift. It's tempting to just tank the crap out of this. Oh yeah. Okay, great. So let's go turn this in. That also got us some good money that we can, uh, we can spend on maybe just straight up attack damage. Or maybe extra shields. Because our shields recharge much faster than our health. So... While I did get the- I got the plus armor, which is great. Uh, you know what? I feel like killing these things. I'm gonna kill them. Yeah, come and get me, melee. Oh no, what happened? Oh, those don't get stunned. Maybe it's a chance to stun. I don't really know. Either way, we're looking good. Let's turn this in and see what he tells us to do this time. I like these side quests, though, where he just screams at us to kill things. Alrighty, what you got for us? 50 minerals, 50 Vespine, pretty good. Yes, this is the work of a true warrior. You have done well. Okay, great. So we finished that up. Let's swing down here real quick. I assume that more more side quests won't open up until we talk to uh, Noros again, but that's okay. Another reason I do have to stop recording, I've been recording for quite some time, and my wife has been sending me texts, and I haven't been able to read them, and I sure hope they're not important. Please come pick me up. I've been waiting for an hour. That would be probably the worst case scenario. I don't have a car, so there's no way I could go and pick her up. That's just a... Uh, would be a funny situation, though, if that was applicable. Alrighty. Welcome back, Voradin. I can only presume the operation at the Southern Reaches went as planned. Indeed, the final warp spire has been reactivated, and the threat in the Southern Reaches has been reduced. Excellent. What an outstanding accomplishment. The warp network should be powering up once again. I want you to join me and my forces the warp network empowers. I will be awaiting you at the area leading to the pathway of the Templar, just south of Executor's Shield. And Taro Adun. Okay, to the warp network. Meet up with Executor Noros at the Pathway of the Templar, which is... Where, where, where is the entrance to that? Probably those rocks. There's still... There's still an okay amount of space on this map, by the way. Um, these rocks are still there as well. Those rocks are still there as well. So there, there still may be a good chunk of this left, which is why I think I'm going to cut here because there's still a lot to explore. All right, well, hey, this has been Jay Barino. Thanks so much for watching. When we come back, we theoretically will finish it this time. We'll finish this this time, but this is... There's a lot. There's a lot, but it's really fun. It's really fun. We're just unlocking more and more stuff. I'm having a great time already. See you next time. Bye now.